Today, uh, I just wanted to share something if you are kind of wanting to do more cloud code, other AI agentic CLIs that is have a heavy up cost, right? So let's say we do cloud code, that's my favorite, max 200. This is something I use every month, right? Or at least the last few months. So basically, I wanted to find something where I could kind of get this for free. So I have found like a very successful way of doing this uh, that I don't spend a lot of time on, right? So we have these websites like Upwork, Fiverr. So basically what I do is I spend a couple of hours a week trying to find these simple jobs that I know Claude can, can do, Claude Code can do. Probably around in the 25 to $100 range. And I found out, so we do like 50-50. We can complete in like a pretty reasonable uh, short amount of time, maybe like 10, 20 minutes. And I send my request. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. That kind of depends. But basically the idea is that it's just background work. I don't really focus too much on it. Just set it up, uh, give it all the context it needs, context engineering and stuff like that. And I just let it run. And if I see, okay, we completed this job, I send it in for improvement. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. And I can get like a $50 there. And that's nice, like, because that pays off like a quarter of the price for Cloud Code. So I thought I'd give you like a couple of examples of jobs uh, we can do. Yeah, so let's do it. So let me just show you kind of how I usually do this now. So please don't steal this away from me now. But basically, I just go to my Upwork account. Uh, I can see I have five messages for jobs I have completed. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into those now. Uh, so basically, sometimes I just search for web scraping. That is something models are pretty good at, right? Search for web scraping. I just scroll through here. I set this to like less than 100, right? Fixed price. And I just find some different jobs here. So I found this one, download transcripts from YouTube channels. Uh, download from three channels, 2000 videos total. And you can do all this, scrape them. And we have some deliverables and stuff like that. Uh, we have like a timeline and I just quickly go through. Uh, we need to apply for this. And basically let's say we got this, okay? So let's say we got this job. Uh, let me show you how I would do this now quickly using Cloud Code. So I would just create like a, yeah, not this one, uh, like a simple directory, let's call it agent, okay? So I just do like a job.md, okay? And I just copy basically the full job description here, oh, okay? Something like that. Uh, yeah, doesn't really need all of this, but uh, you get the point, paste it in here. I guess we can remove this, something like that, okay. So we got the job description here, and I'm just gonna give it like a example URL, because we don't wanna do all of those now. So I'm just gonna come up with some kind of URL here as an example channel, right? Okay, so let's say we have Marcus Brownlee's channel here. So I just copied his URL. Uh, I went to my cursor, I pasted it in here. Okay, great. And then I just went to a new set here on Claude. I said, read job MD. Okay, so now we kind of read the full job here. It's looking at the URL. Uh, okay, that looks pretty good. And it says this is only one of the three channels listed, but that's fine. So now I think we're just gonna try to execute on this. So I'm just gonna ask Claude to create a plan for this now. So now I'm just gonna do plan mode, create a plan for this job to show that the system is working before we do all the work. Because I wanna know that it's working before we actually do it. Uh, let's create three videos as a test, follow the instructions in job and uh, precise. So sometimes I just, I don't do the full job up front. I just have like a proven concept. I send it over to the client or customer or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, and I said, yeah, we can do this. And if I said yes, I'm just going to do it, right? So now we're just going to do a plan. And let's see what kind of plan we come up with. We're gonna test it. If it doesn't work, we will do some adjustments. So the thing is like, while I'm doing this, I also have a parallel job working here. So I usually do two or three at the same time. This is a more complex job. And you can see we have gotten somewhere here now. This is a Whole Foods product scraper job. So let me show you that, uh, that uh, yeah, job page. So this is the scrape chip product data, Whole Foods in structured Excel, include images and packaging. Okay, so you can see this is a $50 job, so that's a bit higher price. And yeah, you can see programmatically scrape all the data, pull and use images, uh, output everything in exact Excel format I provide with no guessing. 
and you can see we have some attachments here so i just started this before i recorded the video and i want to see now if this is the correct uh, uh, structured output here. Okay, so while we were doing that you can see now we are ready to run this So I'm just gonna do any three recent videos just for the test setup And now I want to go back and check this job, right? So this is the output. So this was the Excel file the Provider of the job sent us and this is the format it wants it in so on the top here You can see what we have done. So we have found kind of the flavor the category the base type the bag size the price and yeah, looks like we got mostly here. We got the everything looks pretty good. We have the calories, sodium, fat, saturated fat, and everything. So it's a pretty big list. It's 90 items, I think. So let's do item 9 to 15 now, just as a test. So I just go back to Claude. Uh, great. Let's do 9 to 14. Okay, so let's try to do that and check back on it. Okay, so now we are done with the plan here. So you can see I always work in parallel. And let's say I complete this job, 25 plus 50, that's $75 in like, yeah, I spent like an hour soon, maybe 30, 45 minutes. So that means I'm like halfway there, plus plus. Okay, so let's test this. So this is something I do like, I spend like, I, I only have to do like 30 minutes, four times every week or something. Not, not every week, but like once a week, 30 minutes or something. So yeah, let's let this work for a while and check back on it. So while we wait for that, we can also check like, is there any other jobs here? This is $75. Uh, scraper, this is more like a, yeah, I don't know. This we are working on, relay web socket. Uh, this might be able, possible to do this. This is more like a system. We probably need to scrape these X feeds here, okay. Yeah, that should be possible. That is like 75 bucks. That's a big job if you get one of those. And I always kind of check the payment verification if it has good reviews and stuff like that. Uh, but usually they are pretty vetted on this platform. Uh, I sometimes do five or two, but I kind of prefer Upwork. Uh, that's just my preferral, right? Okay, so I see we got a couple of things here. So yeah, we're gonna run 9 to 14. We're gonna test this out, download transcribes. Yeah, seems to be working. We found three videos. The API has changed. Yeah, we might do some changes. If not, I have a backup plan for this. So yeah, let's just let this run and see how far we get. Okay, so it looks like the video job is doing quite uh, good. So uh, let's do a uh, download to CVD just to see that everything looks good. And if you check back on this job, yeah, we're gonna keep running it. We had some issues here, I don't know what happened. So we need to re-scrape re this, this Whole Foods job. And yeah, let's give it a more some more time and see if we can complete this in one hour. Okay, so we did the transcript. So you can see we got the three, let's check them out. Uh, okay, so we have that it's in plain text, no timestamps. That's what the job wanted. We have one, two, and three. Perfect. So I would say that's, uh, how much was that job? $25. ka -ching. Okay, pretty good. So let's see if we can complete the $50 job. Uh, this is a bit more complex. So let's check back and see if we found this. So you can see, uh, I tried to do 10 more lines of the Whole Foods job. So I want to go back to my updated spreadsheet now just to see how it's looking and yeah there might be more work to do here but let's check it out. Okay so now we can kind of see we filled in all the way down to 15 but you can see we have some VTUs here. This means that we have to maybe do some work on the scraper or we have to do some manual work here but uh, yeah maybe I could figure that out later but basically I just wanted to show you that uh, I think if we work a bit more on the code we could complete this uh, Whole Foods scrape uh, job here and maybe cash in $50 if we were lucky, right? So that would bring our total up to 75 in about, yeah, I would say about an hour or something we spent on this. So that's not bad, 70 bucks, 75 bucks an hour. Uh, but you gotta remember, it's not always that you get the job, right? So that's time wasted. But <laughs> how I think about it, if, if I still have tokens here, it doesn't really matter too much because it's just working in the background for me anyway. Sometimes I just watch TV and I just press 
continue, continue, continue. I check it a bit, continue, continue. You get the point, right? So that is basically how I try to get a free Claude Code Max 200 subscription each month. Uh, I just try to, I don't know how you say it in English, to be honest, but like, get the money back by using the tool or something like that. So, <laughs> I, I know this is maybe not for everyone, but if you kind of wanted to justify having this 200, I would spend some amount of tokens and time on trying to kind of re, I don't know what to say, repurpose the cost or something, get the cost back by doing work on these sites. But uh, don't get too... Uh, fancy with it like, don't spend hours don't spend weeks on this like just to get the cost back try to aim for like simple jobs that you can do kind of on the background uh, uh that you also also will be able to check if it's working or not don't take on too complex jobs that might be like a very really draining uh, that's that's a little my tip right but uh, maybe this gave you some idea and maybe this could save you a few amounts of dollars or maybe this could give you the opportunity to finally have that max subscription you wanted right if it's OpenAI, Pro, uh, Google Ultra, or if it's Cloud Code Max, that's kind of up to you. But yeah, hopefully this gave you some idea or inspiration to something you can do. So yeah, uh, thank you for tuning in and like this video if you think it's interesting. And I'll see you again for the final Shipmas Day tomorrow.